you're coming along with us on a vlog the first time we've first one we've done in a long time so today we're we're going on a legend trip now we're not going to try to provoke anything into manifestation but we have a local supposedly haunted spot that I thought Zach and I would go to. Zach's our cameraman. Say hi, Zach. Hi, Zach. <laughs> um, so we're going to uh, blah, blah, blah. Ironworks, the Ironworks Park. It's a historical spot, and there are tales of a, a murder that happened there, as well as you know, Civil War soldiers, ghosts of Civil War soldiers and their horses. Um, there's a campsite along the woods that's supposed to be a hot spot. So we're just going to wander around. Oh, there's also been some deaths there in more recent times. So we're just going to wander around and see what we can pick up on, see what we can feel, um, and just explore. So I decided to vlog and take you along with us. What does it say? Look, Talladega National Forest, the Oak Mulgee Division. It's just right down the road. Doesn't Bigfoot live there? Well, I think Talladega, they're talking about Aniston area. So there's two Talladegas. Oh. But this one's saying like, hey, there's miles of backwoods roads and stuff that I should go check out. Right here, okay. So, this house is closed right now, but it was built in 1900. It's not local to the here. They cut it up and moved it here. So I don't really know why it's here, but it's pretty. And here it is. There's that. So I have a question. If a house is haunted and the house gets cut up and moved to a new location, Will the house still be haunted? Or does do the ghost stay in the original location? One of the legends here at Briarfield Ironworks is Mulberry Church. I think that's probably what we're looking at right here. There's a legend that this girl was going to marry this guy and the girl's dad was mad about it. So he like shot through the front door of the church and shot the wife and the husband by accident because the, the wife was like standing in front of the husband at the time. So they say there's still a bullet hole in the front door and they say that a specter of the bride can still be seen. This does, the sign does say Mulberry, Mulberry Baptist Church. So let's go check it out. Oh, and here's our surroundings. This place is just a bunch of structures that are just here for no reason. <laughs> They're just used as like storage buildings and stuff. Founded 1866, built 1897, moved 1988, the year I was born. Oh man. Well, is it open? No. <laughs> Let's give you a look inside. I just feel like there should be a door right here. Maybe there was. And maybe that's where the bullet hole used to be. Okay. So this is the actual ironworks. I don't even really know what that is. What is it? They made... What did they make? Iron? Huh? I think they just mined out here. 
Oh, so this is huge. You can't really tell. This is a furnace. This was a furnace. It's like ancient. Preservation is being supported by Save America's Treasures Grant. You feel any ghosts? Oh, this place is dry. This is the swimming pool. It's not historic or anything. And someone drowned in here and that's not really funny or anything. But it still happened. Well, that's creepy. Getting anything? No. I don't think you're trying. Well, Ironworks was not that fun. Um, no sign of ghosts. We also couldn't find the campsites, so we couldn't even like feel that out. It, it needs a lot, the place needs a lot of work. So now we're on Highway 25, traveling through Bibb County to Centerville. And this is the very road where in 1961, a young hitchhiker was picked up. Um, the driver got a little info out of him, but he was a teenager, right? And the driver got into an accident. He crashed into the Cahaba River somewhere along this road. Hopefully we'll see the area. And um, the hitchhiker, the young hitchhiker hiker was killed. And he is, to this day, a John Doe. He was never identified. He's buried in Centerville Memorial Cemetery as unknown. Whoa. It's <laughs> over there. <laughs> my oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we just passed a mansion. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is your job? Anyway, so I thought it would be nice since we have our very own local mystery um, to go visit the site and bring him some flowers and just remember the dead. So that's our next stop. So we're here, now we just have to find, find the memorial. It's pretty, everything's really old. We've been here probably like 20 or 30 minutes trying to find this grave marker and we can't find him anywhere. We even pulled up a news article about the exhumation of the body to try and like see about where they were at in the cemetery. Can't find anything. So I'm just going to go through one more time, but someone else might get these flowers. There are some very cool, very old markers here, though. It is pretty. Magnolia trees. But like, where is the boy? Zach just summoned me. I think he found him. <laughs> How did we miss it? It's the first one. <laughs> oh my god. It's really not as legible as I thought. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is so sad, my heart's pounding. Unknown in life, but recognized in death. <sighs> Killed in an automobile accident March 27th, 1961. Donated by people of Bibb County who love children. And he really has no flowers. I'm excited to give him some. Thanks, baby. <laughs> you found it. <laughs> already so I put some flowers in here and well you can't really see where you are but now he's got a little Samhain recognition cleaned him up a little bit yeah we found him <laughs> okay we're back 
We made it back from Bibb County. Um, I ended up vlogging the cemetery on my phone because it was kind of like a residential area and also there were like some some like rednecks hanging out there and I didn't want them to be like, why you guys got a camera? What are you doing here? You know, so I just used my phone. But it was a good day and we're back <laughs> and it seems like seems like we're in the big city now that we're no longer in Bibb. <laughs> But yeah, we did a thing, and it felt really good to see, to find the John Doe's grave and just like clean it up and give him some flowers, and it was fun. I feel like we did something small, but it was a fun activity. So now we're going to watch a scary movie and have dinner and just pretend tomorrow's not Monday. <laughs> All right, see you around. Bye.